today we're going to be talking a little bit about sugar. Sugar! <laughs> so do you ever go to the grocery store and you're looking for labels that say reduced fat or no added sugar, but then you think, well, hey, I don't want to have fat or sugar in my diet, so why can't you find both? Well, the problem is, is they don't occur naturally. When companies take the fat out of a product, they have to double the amount of sugar in it, so that it doesn't taste like cardboard, because nobody wants to eat that. Well, <laughs> So instead, you're getting tons of extra sugar added to your product, but that has no nutritional benefits. But there's a lot of easy ways for you to spot the added sugars, and one of the easiest ways is to look at the ingredient list. Sugar is the second ingredient. Because added sugar has 59 different names that it can fall under. Malt syrup, cornstarch refiner syrup, like agave nectar. Most people don't realize that that's just another form of added sugar. Like, I would think I was eating a plant. So the way companies hide sugar in their product is in the ingredients list. So after you know the different names, you just have to know how the ingredients list works. So the ingredients in a product that have the highest weight go at the top of the list, and then it descends from there. But companies know that if they put high fructose corn syrup at the top of the list, you're probably not going to buy their product. So instead, they take high fructose corn syrup and they put it under three different names. So say you have 15 grams of high fructose corn syrup, but they don't want that on there. So they're going to put 5 grams of dextrin, 5 grams of maltose, and then another 5 grams of say, like just corn syrup as well. But all of those are going to fall later in the list and you'll get bored by reading it then. And you probably won't even realize the added sugar, but really you're still eating all 15 grams of added sugar, they just fell under different names. So another issue is with the nutrition label. For starters, it's in grams. I don't know what a gram of sugar looks like, but I know what a teaspoon looks like. So four grams of sugar is equal to one teaspoon of sugar. Another issue is, is the fact that companies don't have to label what's naturally occurring sugar in their product and what's the added sugar. So for example, you might think you're doing a good thing in the morning by having a yogurt for breakfast, but really, 10 grams of that of the sugar that's on the label might be from lactose in the milk, which is fine and naturally occurring and is cool in moderation. However, another 5 grams might be from added sugar that might be in the form of fructose, and that's not needed. But what you really should do is have plain yogurt for breakfast. And then, if you really need extra sweetener, you can add something like raw honey to it, which is going to add some sweetness to your product, but it'll also do it with extra nutrient benefits. Um, I hope this is helpful, guys. I think it's good to know about what's in your product and how to read labels properly, and I hope you feel the same way. Check out my other videos on sugar so you have an idea and an awareness of what you're really eating. Thanks, guys!